the New Testament says by him, referring to Jesus, were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible or invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. Colossians 1.16 As a created being allowed by God to be the ruler of this world, quoting John 12.31, also called the God of this world, 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, Satan is God's tool. So that the apostle wrote, hand this man over to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, so that his spirit may be saved on the day of the Lord, 1 Corinthians 5.5. 5. That's what God's doing to all of us, has done to all of us. God has bound everyone over to disobedience so that he may have mercy on them all. Romans 11.32, all, that means everyone, every single human being. Satan is like God's rod of correction or best Swiss army knife ever. The Lord disciplines those he loves as a father the son he delights in. Proverbs 3.12 And the devil, also known as Satan, is a murderer and a liar. John 8.44 I explain in this book and playlist why God made him our ruler. In short, it's to help us see that we're much more like him, like Satan, the devil, than like Christ. None of us think so, yet we've proven it billion times over. I also explain this graphic throughout this book. Basically, Jesus is the carpenter, according to Mark 6, 3, and all good carpenters have great tools. So all those little tools within the Swiss Army Knife represent the many ways Satan hurts humanity, allowed by God for his higher purposes, again, as explained on this playlist. And the clock on the knife symbolizes the fact that God has only given him, and us, so much time, and it's almost out. The closer Satan gets to the end of his allotted time, the angrier he gets, the more brutal, and the more he does it out in the open. Everyone who's not a born-again close follower of Christ has been lied to by Satan with God's permission, according to Second Thessalonians 2, 10 to 11, as I've already covered on this playlist. But it says, because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved, therefore God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false. And it's a lot of lies. The delusion covers everything because it's all about what God is doing. And he created all things for his purposes. Revelation says that ancient serpent called the devil or Satan leads the whole world astray and he was hurled to the earth. He was kicked out of heaven for being so proud. As we're told in Isaiah 14:14, 14, 14, he said, among other things, I will make myself like the most high. It's what we do, what humans do. We're trying to be our own God when no, we're not. God is God. That's what Satan did. I will make myself like the Most High. I'm going to be like God. Except he's not. Not the Almighty. None of us are. So he was kicked out of heaven for being super proud and his angels with him. According to Revelation 12.9. And so I summed up what's going on. History basically on this graphic it's lies upon lies hundreds of thousands of them billions of them but i only have so many shades on my computer so there you go so if it's not completely white it's satan's turf because he's the god of this world and the ruler of this world and he's a murderer and a liar and so when we're younger especially we assume that everything is as it seems, right? But then we start growing up and realize, oh, <laughs> it's not quite like that. And the more you mature, especially once you become born again, 
and the more you grow in Christ, the more truth is revealed. And when Jesus returns on that day for the born again, then we'll finally see clearly as clear as possible because God is light and in him there's no darkness at all. 1 John 1 5. And so scripture prophesies that all the world would wander after the beast and that's what we've been doing throughout history except for a couple of blips when Jesus showed up for those who believed him and then again during the Middle Ages what's called the Great Reformation of the Church again the faithful got a little more enlightened but apart from those two blips all the world has wandered after the beast and today it's worse than ever and it's going to get worse still however there is going to be another blip that God has prophesied about the latter rain which I already talked about somewhat on this playlist so if you don't want to be any more deceived, you need to get right with Christ and not only become born again, but become a follower of Christ, a close follower. The closer, the better.